right, guys. Bring her here. Doing some Mortal Kombat X online gameplay. These are ranked matches, and as you just saw, I believe I had maybe a 1% to 0% chance of winning this fight. Um, you can see the opponent's name in the top right-hand corner. These are all really good players, and these uh, fights are absolutely phenomenal. I hope you enjoy them. Uh, my gameplay's gotten a lot better since the last time I did a, a gameplay video, so you're gonna see some better combos here and a lot better fights. Um, yes, as you can see, this person is a level 71 as to my 63. Uh, you're clearly gonna see his talent level. Really good player. Really good player. He is Kano, I am Raiden. So right off the bat, he's trying to uh, use his ranged attacks there. Try to zone me out a little bit. Get him with the armored uh, electric grab. Push him into the corner. And this is where you want your opponent to be if you're playing as Raiden. Get a little bounce there. Command grab. Nice 22% combo there. 19 hits. And here's the big boy. 45%, 33 hits. That'll finish round one. I won that round pretty convincingly, but uh, don't count your chickens before they're hatched. This guy has some tricks up his sleeve. All right, so he's going on the offensive here. Throws in his enhanced moves. Pulls off a nice 10 hit combo that did 38%. He dropped the last part of it, so if had he hit that last part, probably would have done over 40% damage. As you can see, he's pressuring the fuck out of me right now. I blow one of my bars for some reason. I don't know why I did that. I somehow, some way, thought I had a chance of actually winning this round when the round is pretty much over. He just needs to hit me once or twice, and he does. And that's the end of round two. So here we are, round three, the deciding round. And uh, again, he's putting the pressure on. Using that one combo, it does really good damage, so I don't blame him for doing it. Has me cornered. You think I'm going to be screwed here? I hit the x-ray, so I blow my entire bar here. Now you're going to witness one hell of a comeback. Because even using my x-ray, I'm at a really, you know, really big disadvantage right now. So he's in the corner. I have to try to make the best of this. He works his way out. So I hit him with that push him back I, I hit the Superman and uh, just got lucky right here again hit him with the big combo and for style points we're gonna hit him with a brutality this was a really good fight um, if you could only hear me live I was I was like losing my shit after winning this that that was one I don't come back from that big a deficit that that often so this was a big deal for me it might not be a big deal for you but it was for me that was a really good fight, and kudos to that player. I'm not even going to try to pronounce his names, because I know I'm going to screw it up. Kabi or some shit? I don't know. On to the next one. Zero percent chance this guy has more losses than I do total fights combined. So, automatically I'm thinking I'm fucked. Completely and utterly fucked here. Memphis Mac is his name. He's picking Sub Zero. Again, I'm going with my main man, Raiden. Never play ranked match without him. <laughs> so, here we go. Round one, fight. Now, right off the bat, he hits me with the overhead, and he's using the Ice Clone. As you know, that's going to become a reoccurring theme in this video. So, alright, I kind of dropped a combo there, but it worked out in my benefit. I didn't really want to throw that electric bolt. So, again, the EX grab. Nice little combo. Again, the corner rape combo, which he breaks. Smart move. Again, when you have Raiden, you want to keep your opponent in that corner. Actually, that goes for all characters, but Raiden in particular... Um, as you can see, you could put really good pressure on him. His moves are pretty unpredictable. So it's kind of hard to judge when he's coming overhead or going to hit you low. You've got a lot of options. We're going to 
continue with the corner rape here. All right, he gets out. Now he's going to make really good use of the ice clone here. Watch this. You pick Grandmaster more often than not, I mean, with Sub-Zero, you're going to see guys play this way. Um, it's a really good way to play, especially against a Raiden player. He's using the shield quite well. Knowing when to go on the offense, when to be defensive. I'm trying to goad him out into coming out to fight. Uh, he's not falling for it, obviously. So I gotta work my poke game a little bit and uh, keep screwing up. I mess up a lot of times in this fight, but... You gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. Take some risks. And he dropped that combo. Not quite sure what he was going for there. Um, again, this guy has over 1,000 fights. And, and uh, again, I had 0% chance, according to Mortal Kombat's online servers, of winning this fight. So winning one round was a was an achievement of, in of itself there. <laughs> so again, he's working that ice clone. So you gotta I'm trying at this point, I'm thinking, okay, I just gotta stay close to him, put a little bit of pressure on him. I dropped the friggin' combo there. Good thing I was able, able to recover, get that bounce. And he escapes it's that slide, man. That EX slide gets you out of trouble every single time. It's a great move. Alright, I thought for sure I was going to hit that uppercut. Uh, yep, alright, so my EX broke through the Ice Clone, as you can see. Now I have the advantage, and right now it's pretty much just the battle of who's going to build the bar up first and who's going to be able to use it effectively. He has his bar first, but he's not using it. He's just he's content at zoning. I have the life advantage. He's trying to chip away. He's doing a good job. There, the EX, uh, I don't even know what you call that move. It's, uh, shoots up in the air, then chops him down. Again, for style points, catch him with the electric grab and get the brutality. Another good fight. This one was really frustrating because of that ice clone. The defense was incredible. Um, kudos to this guy, Memphis Mac. Great job. Great job. I can't believe I won that fight. On to the next match. Now, as we're waiting here. I didn't have a hard time finding opponents. The, the, there was a lot of people playing, so the wait wasn't too, too long, as you can see. Now, this this guy's 0-3. So, I mean, I, I just threw this one on here just for the hell of it. Um, I obviously win this fight. Um, I don't know how I got paired up against this person. He, he obviously just picked up the game. His name is L L Catch 24. I don't know what that means. I don't know if there's a hidden meaning to that, but anyway, that is who he is. He's picking Kung Lao again. I'm hanging with my boy Raiden. Gonna get that job done right quick. There's a reason why I kept this on here. What was it? Let's watch this and figure it out together. Stop this round. One, fight. Alright. So he's a Mexican jumping bean. Okay, that's why I put this on here. As you can see, he's jumping all over the goddamn place. And for what reason? I don't know. But that's just the way he's playing. Um, and with that, I mean, that hat, the, his uppercut has incredible range for some reason. Like, that thing reaches really far. And his, um... I guess maybe that's why he's jumping around like he is. I don't, I don't get it. I guess that's his game plan. But it can become frustrating at times when you're trying to play at a high level and you don't really want to dumb your game down. As there, oh, there it is. That's the reason. Mid fight, my controller dies. So I'm, I'm drastically at this point trying to plug my controller back in, and I finally get it done. But it's too late. The motherfucker has just won the round. I'm pissed right now because of this, so therefore I have to whip his ass for that disrespect. As you can see, again, you want your opponent in the corner when you're playing with Raiden. He hits his X-ray here. I personally would not have used my X-ray at that moment in time. Again, you could tell he's a he's a noob, um, not a really skilled player, because in up one round, 
and you didn't really take that much damage yet to blow your entire gauge is um, not a good idea. And as you can see, it uh, backfired on him drastically. So now he's trying to spam low pokes. Very frustrating. I'm trying to play with skill here, and it's it's biting me in the ass. I get that round. Again, it's just a frustrating fight. Sometimes you really have to, like, a noob will catch you off guard. You, you're used to playing um, higher quality players, and then you play somebody who's playing like this, and it completely screws you up and throws you off your game. Like this, I mean, Jesus Christ, here. So I'm like, alright, well, fuck this. I'm gonna low poke the shit out of you, too. <laughs> Nothing fancy about this uh, this fight here. Just, you know, coming back from my controller dying. First time it's ever happened to me playing this game. And again, that's a wrap. And do we get the fade? Yep, I teabag him a little bit just to let him know what's up. Throw in a fatality. And that, my friends, is that. I am the bringer of rain. This has been some Mortal Kombat X gameplay. Some really good fights. Shout outs to those players, man. If you see them on there, get ready. You're gonna you're in for a fight. Y'all have a wonderful evening.